Well, let me get my shaggy-headed fat butt up. I think we got some news we need to go over in trucking. Stick around. Hat on, hat off. Hat on, hat off. Hang on, I'll be right back. Had to turn the air conditioner off. I'm at home sitting here in this direct sun. Good Lord. It's hot. Well, in the great world of YouTube, did I hear the coach went to Swift? I think my house is great. The coach went to Swift. Well, I always heard drama sales. What happened to all these companies that they have been exercising themselves, saying they had the best leasing programs and all that? Why are they at Swift? Let's do a little bit of research. And why are you doing a little bit of research? I'm gonna go over this too. Go, go to TikTok because Trucking Nay Nay ain't on, isn't on YouTube anymore. And she says after the holidays she getting out of trucking. There's another successful story that didn't listen to other drivers trying to help her, and uh, I think she fell pretty hard. Uh, not taking some advice from other people. One thing is always correct. We all fail out right here at trucking one way or the other. We may have short term, we may have long term uh, success. <clears throat> and sometimes it goes good. Sometimes you fall flat on your face, you gotta start over again. But I still can't figure out why the trucker's coach and all of them yahoos have moved from company to company. What are they searching for? What are they missing? I gotta do a little research. And we'll get back to that and see what I find in just a minute. Well, what I could understand and information that I was getting is he's trying to get recruitment bonuses and stuff at Swift because they pay more money, run less miles and get more recruits, pay more money for recruits. But that's the only thing I can, but as the years and, and I've been criticized on this channel for trashing coach. Uh, and, and we all had ups and downs in trucking, every one of us. I mean, there's not a one on here that hadn't been hired, fired, quit, sickness, uh, had to stop trucking, back into trucking. We're all in that ballpark of things that's happened. But there's one thing that you can take to the bank. And that is, I used to be on the Facebook, Trucker's Coach Facebook, and would try to help drivers. And some of the craziest people would just trash uh, when people had simple answers. So I quit being on Facebook. I was uh, a moderator on Jason's channel uh, for about a day. And I was trying to keep comments um, more professional on there than a lot of this crazy stuff that was on there. Next thing I know, I come back, a wrench was gone for hiding people or stopping crazy comments. Um, 
I've called in to Jason when he used to have us talk shows and tried to talk to him and stuff, but he had a lot of good plans about how to succeed in trucking, but he never took his own advice, especially when we was out here talking about all these lease owner op programs. The stuff that I've been through with them, and, and it's crazy. And, and we've talked for hours and hours and hours on his channel about this stuff, uh, what to do, not how to make how to make money, uh, how they change contracts so quick, how they drop the pay of the loads when you own contracts that you know they may be the sole contractor for like Sharp does Aldi Foods or whatever or um, the Ena Foods and stuff like that. It's done by a company. You know, they do all their in-house stuff. And one day you're making, this is years ago, it's making $1.68 and, and the next thing, oh, uh, we've had a big, we had to cut pay. Now went down to $1.38. Really? You know, things like that. And, and when things drop like that, if you're not at the level of success you want to be, yeah, you do need to move on. Trucking has come very versatile out here. You can move uh, sideways uh, three times and down three times and still make it back to the top. But you've got to know the, the keys, how to get there, uh, and what kind of stuff you've got to take uh, is all trucking companies perfect? No. You've got to find out what works for you and the best to make work, to get you where you want to be. And that's what the trucker's coach used to be about and the uh, Facebook and all. But it has 100% it is in the toilet now, should I say. Truckers 411 information. Jesus. Go buy your newspaper. You get more information out of it about trucking than some of this other stuff they come up with. Um, yeah, there are some good people out here in trucking that can teach you how to um, succeed. Man, look how many hours that we trashed RVT professional career never trashed his family or anything like that but his professional career about moving hopping they leased on up there and they doing very well uh, they finally found he finally found where he can succeed at and uh, make a lot of money and that's what you have to do out here it is learn what each company can offer and make a living out of it. Um, no, you're not going to get rich. Yeah, you may make good money, but uh, that's what you have to do. But that's all I got to say. This trucker's coach is just about done with trucking, I'm pretty sure of. And uh, trucking Nay Nay, she's gone. And all them other yahoos. Just, just put it in the uh, comments. We'll, we'll cover those. All right, everybody have a good day. I'm waiting on a load. If anybody got a load in Kentucky, let me know. I can't find me a load up here. I'm sitting up here in the sun baking. I might lose a couple of pounds. <laughs>